Welcome back everyone, this is Victor Campos. Well, it's been a long trip, and here is our result. We've got our HTML5 based Android app running on a virtual device. It's running on a real device too, my testing device. We've exported our project from Eclipse, and now it's an honest to goodness real file, uh, an APK file. Well, what do you do at this point when your project is basically finished? You go to the two big distribution channels for getting people to then download your app. So you want to go to developer.android.com and this is where you get all the documentation for designing, developing, and distributing your application. So we've gone through the whole process. You want to read distribute and you'll read every single detail, every single nuance of what you need to do now to distribute your app. At the top right you'll see links to the Google Play Developer Console. This is where you then need to go and create an account to start distributing your apps. The only thing is that you have to pay $17, it might be $17 or $19, something like that. A pretty affordable price as an entry fee to be able to sell on Google Play. Uh, once you've paid that developer's fee, you'll have a console where you can then upload your application. I'm not going to log into mine, but I can show you a preview of it, a screenshot. It looks something like this, where you will be logged in, uh, you'll be able to keep track of your applications, the price of it, downloads, ratings, if it's crashed, and updates, and all of that stuff. So you'll get a lot of great data. And all you need to do then is add new application and start adding your application. Now, of course, there's more nuance than that, but this is just an overview. The other place where you would be distributing your apps is with Amazon. Amazon also provides an Android app store. And they are at developer.amazon.com. Uh, so they say submit your app. Over 75% of Android apps we've tested just work on Kindle Fire with no changes required. So you can create um, cross-platform apps and also sell them on Amazon and tap into another market, another growing market. So the same app that we created uh, throughout this whole course is now distributable through the classic Google Play or also Amazon App Store. So they've also got a sign in and create an account. Now theirs is free. It's completely free to distribute via the Amazon store. You don't have to pay $17 and that sort of thing. So that's a big incentive. And as a little preview, their developer console is something like this as well, where it'll show you all the details of your application and um, you will need to create assets and advertising for your application and that's a whole other video actually that's a whole other class once we've developed our application we need to then upload it market it get it on people's devices and that is the next level of this class so if you've made it this far congratulations I've led the horse to water now it's time for you horsies to start drinking you'll need to go to the app stores, the developer portals, and start reading. Get a preview of what it means to create a store listing and uh, doing it on android.com and on amazon.com. But if you stick around and come back for the next level of the class, whenever it may be offered, I'll walk you through my own experiences of developing and publishing an app and I hope to see you then there. I hope to see you then. So this is Victor Campos, and thank you for taking this Android development class with HTML5.